We're outside The Rock, the State Police Operations Center. Governor Murphy held a storm briefing here earlier this afternoon. He said the state of emergency he declared at 5 a.m. this morning is still in effect in all 21 counties. Our main concern with this storm is its impact on this evening's commute because of the anticipated change from snow to a rent wintry mix just in time for folks to be leaving work. If you did go to work today and you could get out a little bit early to spread the commute so fewer people are out there at the same time, please consider doing so. There was no loss of life in the state today as a result of the storm, Murphy said, around 2 o'clock. As of this evening, a state police ban on commercial trucks on the major interstates is still in effect. We take a little heat with regards to commerce, but one of those jackknife tractor trailers interrupts commerce as well and sometimes leads to long, prolonged lane closures. So I just stress that, that those travel restrictions are not something that we enter into lightly. The DOT commissioner said her department had 2,000 trucks out plowing and treating the roads. The head of the BPU said only 222 homes reported losing power. Ever since a medium-sized storm in November paralyzed the state, Murphy has been aggressive about storm preparation. Some subsequent storms have been duds, and he's been criticized for over-preparing. The severity of today's storm? About what we expected. So some of these storms come out about where you, uh, where you think they are going to come out, and some of them don't. Uh, this is pretty much almost exactly what we expected. A reporter told the governor his TV station has been bombarded with social media posts saying both the governor and the station have been overhyping these storms. If this is the difference between get, getting a son or a daughter on a school bus or however home safely, or a mom or a dad home safely uh, from work, uh, and we can do that and that can touch as many lives in this state, we're gonna, we're gonna be err on the side of uh, better to be prepared and, and be cautious. So a ban on commercial trucks is still in effect tonight on Interstates 80, 280, 287, 195, and 295. If you were on the roads around here in the middle of the day, you'd say this storm probably lived up to its hype. In West Trenton, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.